Hi everyone, this is Michelle of Purple Monkey Moments, uh, mom of two blog.blogspot.ca or Scrapper6B on YouTube and I'm here today with my first ever video. I'm part of this group on uh, Facebook called Play Along and it was created by my sweet friend Janice of pausedreamandjoy.blogspot.com and Janice decided that it would be a really cool idea if we all played along together and made the same projects even though we live on you know different ends of the continent. So we all decided to play along with Ginger of my sister Scrapper while she was posting videos for this fabulous fabulous mini album that she created. It's full of all sorts of fun pockets and tags, has lots of places for, for, um, for pictures Anyway, I decided that the easiest way to show my creation to all the friends I made in this group was to create my first video. So I'm trying it on my iPhone. We'll see what happens. I've never done this before, so it may be a train wreck, so I apologize. Anyway, here's what I created. I started with this fabulous paper pack that I got at Michael's called My Favorite Things. And it just has this yummy pink kind of sparkly fun paper. Love that little girl all sorts of fun pages. It's got a little bit of sparkle and bling. It's got little things in French. Anyway, love this paper pack and got a hugely great deal on it a couple weeks ago at Michael's. And then I used, let's see, what did I use? Um, my favorite ink to use when I'm stamping is Versafine, the Onyx Black. I think it gives a nice true color. So I know a lot of people really love the Memento Black, and I like that too, but this is my favorite. So I used this, and I used, did a ton of inking, and I used some Tim Holtz Tea Dye Distress ink. Used that, and I used this um, My Favorite Things MFT uh, little blossom cut in my Big Shot, and I used a bunch of dew drops from Robin's Nest, uh, from uh, the Robin's Nest, and these are the diamond um, shaped ones. And then these are the little, uh, I think these are more dew droppy, but these are the little rain droppy ones. And then these are the little Mardi Gras dew drops. And I used a ton of ribbon um, from Michaels. And uh, this is my favorite sort of cheapest kind of ribbon to buy. And I used an absolute ton of these buttons from this bag that I got at Walmart. Uh, nothing spectacular, just an easy little bag of buttons, like three bucks or something up here in Canada, which is a hugely great deal. And I used, I have a lot of corner punches and I needed to use a corner punch, so I just used this little sort of tag or, you know, notch corner punch. And that little notch punch is from Stampin' Up! And so is this edge border punch also from Stamping Up, really pretty little one, little lattice. And this is what I used for my stamps. Let me hold it at a different angle so you can actually see it better. It's from Fiskars, it's a set called Good Times, and I just love all the, I think it's perfect for mini albums, I love all the stuff on there. Precious memories, you never know when you're making a memory, we do not remember the days, we remember the moments. I absolutely love this for making mini albums, and I've made a couple of mini albums with this beautiful stamp set. So that's Fisker's Good Times. And then I also used just one stamp, just the smile stamp from this greeting set by TPC Studios, which is a great just generic stamp set. Anyway, here's my album. I'll show it to you pretty quick. So every page is covered with these uh, My Favorite Things recollections. And you can see it's all bound together with this stack the deck system which is incredibly cool I've never used it before but Ginger's instructions were amazing and I was able to get it all done perfectly beautifully see isn't that cute paper isn't that cute it's all bound and then on the front that precious memories there that is one of the Fiskars stamps that I just love so first page isn't this pretty Single moments make great memories. And it all folds out. It's a paper bag album, which I'd never made before. So this is the paper bag part right here. You can see right there. And there's a piece to pull out. These, I'll sh I won't show you all of them, but this is what this piece looks like. Front and back, four by six picture will basically fit on that. And a little journaling box at the bottom. Isn't that cool? <coughs> Excuse me.
Excuse me, I'm, I'm fighting a cold. A smile, a smile happens in a flash, but a memory can last a lifetime. Little brads that I put on. I cut these all out with my elegant edges. These little tags. And then, <coughs> excuse me, you flip it over and some more buttons. And then there's another little spot here where you can add lots of pictures. And then at the back, I put a little journaling box. And then my next page. I love that page with the little dewdrops. drops. I think that's so cute. My tags and some um, picture frames. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing again. Um, those little corner punches are just an EK Success corner punch that I have. Aren't they cute? And I just used a little bling that we got from my local Dollarama. So each of the pages has the same basic design, but they're all decorated a little bit differently. So, okay, see, and each one has a pocket. There, little tags. We do not remember the days, we remember the moments. And some more buttons from that little set. And then, love this page. A moment lasts all of a second, but the memory lives on forever. And these are the roses that I made with that little MFT cut or um, die cut thing. Um, and these are just little bling from Dollarama. Just really simple. I'm a pretty simple crafter and scrapbooker. Anyone who has seen my stuff knows that. This was pretty outside the box for me. So memories are meant to be made, not for, made, not forgotten. And another one of those little flippy things there where you can put all sorts of pictures and stuff. Okay, pretty. Ugh, sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand with my iPhone. It's not easy. Anyway, isn't that beautiful, this pattern paper? And they're the little dew drops from Robin's Nest. Aren't they gorgeous? Love those. Anyway, there's the smile, tags. And you can see this binding system here. It is absolutely amazing, this binding system. I just love it. Some little bling. We must always have old memories and young hopes. Love that set. I just think that's sweet. Anyway, here's, it's, this is my little book. So, oh, I love this, the little waterfall feature. Look at how many pictures you can put on this. Isn't that amazing? Here, I'll swing back so you can get a full view of it all. Isn't that cool? Love this paper, all blingy and sparkly. Anyway, you get the idea. So that's it, it's just six paper bags Lots of Recollections cardstock, um, some Stampin' Up cardstock, and then this Recollections paper pack. I am loving this. And like I said, this incredibly cool Stack the Deck system is just amazing. I've never seen anything quite like it. Anyway, trick. this took, you don't even want to know how long, but I'm sure when I make my next one, it'll be much quicker. And there's room in here for tons and tons and tons of pictures and lots of special memories and lots of journaling and all sorts of great stuff. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, just my album. I'm really proud of it. So uh, my sister Scrapper on YouTube is who makes this mini album and uh, if you want you can request to join Play Along on Facebook. Um, I'm sure Janice would be happy to have you. We're doing lots of fun projects. We're making mustache projects and we're making a card set with a box and all sorts of good stuff. And maybe I'll figure out this video thing and try to do another one. Anyway, sorry about the bad pictures, but hope you loved my mini album as much as I loved making it. So have a wonderful day. Bye.